When I left Manchester this morning, it was uh, overcast. It was quite cool. I think it was about 11 or 12 degrees. And now I'm down here in the south, in the smoke, as we call it, in London, at West Ham. Uh, we're talking 25, 26 degrees this afternoon for a three o'clock kickoff, which is in itself quite unusual. I saw some people debating on social media about the pros and cons of playing at three o'clock. Some fans moaning that playing at three o'clock wasn't good because it wasn't on TV. But I'll be talking to fans who, who are down here today in the away end, of course, because that's what I do, and see what they're thinking of this game down here at West Ham, which is, of course, a slightly different stadium, but it's the former Olympic Stadium. Uh, it doesn't have the running track around it permanently, but the stands are quite well back. And I'm up in the upper tier in the away end today, so I'll be quite a long way back. But I don't mind that too much. I quite like the more elevated view. So let's see what people are, are thinking today here at uh, what I call the Olympic Stadium. So what does what, what does a, a trip to West Ham mean for you? Is this the first time or have you uh, been before? No, we've well we live in Spain, so we're we've just over here at the moment. So while we was in London visiting family, family we just thought we'd pop down and get a, come to the game. So we're quite lucky, really. A lot of debate this week about tickets on different forums and whatnot. So is it easy to get a ticket for an away game? Luckily or? for me, a friend of mine has a season tickets and he weren't coming, so he could help us out in getting the tickets. So we was quite lucky, really. Lovely day for it today, isn't it? What, what are you thinking today? Are you optimistic that City are going to win? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'll be. I think it'll be a tough game with West Ham's new midfield. You know, they've made some good signings. They use the Declan Rice money well, but uh, I think obviously City got to be favourites going into any game. I think. And here, apart from that League Cup tie, they've yeah. had a very, very good record. Yeah, they? they have. I remember a couple of good performances. I remember David Silva putting on a masterclass. I think could be in the first game here. But we've always had a good record here, so fingers crossed we can keep it up today. I go home and away. I did 58 out of 60 last year and whatnot, so every game City play, I'm there. So you live within walking distance virtually of here, do you? Well, 20, 25 minute train from Hertfordshire, Broxbourne, and then straight here and whatnot. What's it like being a blue down here then? It's all right, been here 30 odd years, so I've got, I've got used to it. It's fine, it's fine. I'll be back up on Tuesday, quarter past three from Houston on Tuesday. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday we play? Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Back, back on the quarter past nine on the Wednesday. But I would have thought 30 years ago when you were watching City from down here, there was a very different ambience. People would have took the mickey and all sorts, wouldn't they? Well, they, they felt a bit sorry for us. Never mind taking the mickey. Everyone loved us, didn't they? Now, now we're successful. All the nonsense comes out and whatnot. You know what I mean? But genuine football fans, they, they, they know the score. They'd have what City's had in a, in a heartbeat, you know what I mean? It's simple as that, you know? So, we're all right, we're all right. Traditionally, the relationship between City and West Ham fans is pretty good, isn't it? Correct, correct. You you was probably here when we got relegated last game of the season, at, and, and it was fine. I've been, oh, I don't know, up teen times here. So, there's, there's never any problem, never any problem, City and West Ham and whatnot, you know? It's just... United and Liverpool for us, isn't it? Apart from one cup hiccup, it's been pretty good here, hasn't it, for City? But didn't, didn't we win that cup game about 3 or 4 nil? No, there was the one that we lost on penalties. Oh, yeah, last year, yes, I was here at that one, yes, yes. But, yeah, we've had a few fours and fives here. and I think we played them on a Friday night, didn't we, in the cup and beat them five now and whatnot. So, no, it's fine, it's fine. So well, they're like, pretty good this season. Yeah, they're all right, but we know what they're going to do. They're going to sit sit behind the ball. It is on the break. If we score first goal, then it's a different game, you know. But like at Sheffield United, if they're still in the game after 80 minutes, 85 minutes, anything can happen. Thankfully, we turned it round and whatnot. But as you would say, it's great to be a blue. Well, today. I think it'll be another win for City. Although when you look at the table, West Ham have started well and they're quite high up the league. You know what City do. They just break teams down. Although it weren't great at Sheffield United, I think City will start on the front foot. If we score early, they'll win the game comfortably, I think. I don't think it'll be easy. Um, we've, we've struggled before at West Ham. Um, have we? Yeah, we have. <laughs> like the League Cup one, no score. True. We got beat on penalties. So it you that night as well. But... Um, I think at the moment we're not playing our absolute best, but I think we've got enough to beat them. Um, looking forward, forward to get three points. We're in the Walk around the country. 
Remedy as Johnny Stone. John Stone. Best defence in Europe. Uh, you know, 3 1. Um, <laughs> Nunes' goal on his debut and uh, two Ireland goals. So, because so. you're a younger fan, somebody watching this yeah. might think that's the new modern City yeah. fan yeah. who thinks they're going to win everything. Yeah. Is that how you feel? Well, you know, my, I haven't known any different, but my dad has, my family have all known different, so I've been, I've been kind of brought up differently. But, um, you know, based off last season, we, we, we can't really know any different. So, yeah, we, we'll, we'll do them today. But we're picking and choosing how we win the league now. Well, we're on the crest of the wave. You yeah. just accept them to win all the time, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, as I said, don't know any different. So I'm lucky in that sense, but uh, you know West Ham will put up a good challenge. They're 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 a good side. Um, hopefully Paquetta doesn't score. That that would be a good look. The media love Manchester City. Uh, we've won the treble. Um, it's all over the shop. Everyone goes on about it. A um, bit like they did when we got the hundred goals and hundred points a season. Um, when we won the every trophy in the in the country. Treble last season, and no matter what we do, it's never going to be good enough ever. It is for us, though, isn't it? For us, yeah, we never thought we'd see days like this and just enjoy them. Clive, you've come along, we City have come a long way since you were playing. Yeah. It's a bit different now. What, what do you think of the modern city? Well, I, I, I said it's, it's like I always equate football to, to music, right? The modern, the modern city, for, for most fan, for the, our fans that have seen it, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic! It's a it's a far cry from the days that Main Road. And as I say, I equate I equate football to, to music. There's a time when football shapes your life, and there's a time when, when music shapes your life. And whatever goes before or whatever goes after, whether it's good or it's bad, the time the time that you 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 watch football is always going to be your time. Do you think you fit into the city team? You like, play very silkily. Yeah, I'd I'd like to think so. I'd like to think I, I would have been a. Uh, half decent in this city team um, they, they play the kind of foot, the style of football that, that I'd, what I'd like to play so yeah and um, I'm sure Pep, Pep would have me uh, doing a, a bit more than I was doing back in the day Presumably you look at Ake and Gavardio and compare yourself to them then? Well, well not really because their centre half their centre half's come left back I, w I would have been looking more at um, maybe the Mendy or Zinchenko who, who kind of were mid mid midfield players who We've gone back. We've gone back to football. Gone, gone back to football. But uh, yeah, they, they, um, I'm sure I, I could have fitted in somehow, some way. Are you still involved in football? Not, not professionally. Um, I, in fact, not even amateurly now. Um, not in an amateur profession uh, capacity. I, uh, I teach. I teach PE at school. So that's as far. That's as good as it gets at the, at the minute. So you're going to win today. I think, uh, to be honest, I think it'll be a tough game. I mean, uh, obviously the way the way City plays suits West Ham because West Ham like to play like to play on, on the break. So um, I'm expecting quite a tough game today. So I'm not really sure which way it'll go. Um, Oscar Rabine, I'm from uh, Rhode Island in the United States. And you're uh, studying over here. Yeah. But well, you are a blue. You've been following the Blues from abroad. Yes. Yes. Since uh, around 2014, under uh, Pellegrini. Follower. I don't mean this as a stupid question, but why did you start supporting City? Is it because they were successful or something else that drew you to them? Uh, partly because of the, the first two leagues, but I think that's that's why they were on my radar as an American. You know, that, that, that's definitely part of it. But I think really fell in love with the first wave of kind of takeover players. So Yaya Torre, David Silva, Aguero, of course, uh, and, and watching them kind of help me fall in love. Are you getting into the Manchester culture? Because it's a, City fans are unique, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I love the, the cult following. I think uh, I think it's a really disrespected fan base uh, by, by the English media. And uh, I really appreciate your work because I think, I think you see uh, show highlight the, uh, the fan base for what it is. Well, enjoy the game. Thank you. And uh, let's up City win. Yeah, up the Blues. Pleasure. Well, today City will win 3-0. You go for it, Yeah, 3-0 I go for it, 3 nil. The best team all over the world. I'm here again, all the way from Sierra Leone to come and watch my girl in Manchester City. I always feel excited and happy when I watch Manchester City. City is part of my life. 
Thank you. God bless. Well, I thought City were on top, but poor finishing and a great goal by West Ham to be fair, you can't deny that. So, hopefully we'll come out better in the second half and put away our chances. What do they need to do differently then in the second half? Quicker passing, more precise and um, yeah, just hopefully um, put away the chances basically. It's hard to sum up in a few words. Pretty mediocre first half. You've got to take your chances, haven't you, really? Uh, but they obviously got a real going over at half time. Came out much better. I thought Doku was the man of the match. I thought Foden was pretty poor today, but I thought Bernardo was pretty poor today and he scored in the end, didn't he? Haaland is a remarkable young man, isn't he? he really is extraordinary, you know. But yeah, it's, it, you know, it's a nice day to come and it's early in the season, it's a long season. You mentioned Haaland, he had a lot of chances in the game, but he never Fantastic gets up, the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper had a phenomenal game. He kept the score down. It could have been six or seven, really. Um, he never gives up, he never gives in, he always knows he's going to get on the end of it. He never he never worries for a single second, that's why he's a winner. Yeah, I mean I was a bit pessimistic after the first half, but not going to lie, he came out second half, Doku made up for his error, I was, he, 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 always, he had that there right back in his back pocket, didn't he, let's be honest. And Yeah, great great goal from Bernardo, I think it was Bernardo anyway, who, I don't think Harlan sat in there. Yeah, I'm buzzing with that. Like, start of the season, never, never want to, not want to lose the game. But like, yeah, I, I, I'll take that. Half. I would have taken a draw at half time, to be honest. But yeah, brilliant result. Come on, you Blues, treble winners. Come on. I thought we started off slow, but some finish in the game. We're back out. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's happening again. Four in a row. Four in a row. I thought it was a great game. Uh, second half in particular. First half was very, very tough, but we, that's why the Champions of Europe, we grind tough games out like that. It's the, one of the biggest games of the season that Sanchez is in. All the boys. That's what the Champions of Europe do. Brilliant. What we do. First half. We played well up against it, conceded, but second half we just put them to bed. It was just a matter of time. Doku Fantastic. Is a new star of the Doku, yeah. Well Doku well is a well star. Well Cheers, Cheers, Cheesy. What are you expecting from the rest of the season now then? Less of that, because my heart was <laughs> my heart was going a bit. Um, hopefully just a few easy wins. But you know, you, you never know what a season holds. Well with big thanks to motoringoffencelawyers.com to Timson and to RRG Group, who of course are a chain of garages throughout the North West, um, who support me and su uh, sponsor me. Big thanks to them and big thanks to everybody who contributed and to that Manchester City team who never say die. One nil down at half time. They came back so strong in the second half. Doku with the goal and then the tide turned. And inevitably, I suppose, Erling Haaland uh, scored a goal as well, having had a brilliant day, some acrobatic attempts at goal. Their goalkeeper was magnificent, got to give him some credit. But the thing about Haaland is he never stops, he never gives up, he never lets his head drop, and he gets uh, the goal at the end, which he fully deserved in that match. Uh, next up, it's Red Star Belgrade in the Champions League. I, of course, will be there for that game on Tuesday evening. And this weekend on the audio podcast, if you remember him, if you're an older fan particularly, um, big Bob Taylor who played for Gillingham against City at Wembley in 1999 and then went on to play for City. Not heard from him for a long time. 
you'll hear from him in my audio podcast this week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. Isn't it great to be a blue?